it depends on three different factors. The first, of course, is the patient's lifestyle. If we do a facelift and the patient continues to smoke, continues to expose his skin to the sunlight, then that will take away from the longevity of the facelift. The second has to do with the patient's uh, overall quality of the skin and the bony framework. And again, if the skin is inelastic and it's been stretched, we don't expect the result to last as long as it would in someone with normal skin elasticity. And the third factor, of course, is the surgeon. It's me and the type of surgical procedure that I have performed. So depending on those three factors, I tell my patients that I expect their facelift to last eight to 10 years. And then I explain that the first place where they may see some relapse is in the jowls. And that is related uh, quite a bit on the patient's uh, skin elasticity. If we're talking about the quality of the skin itself and we have done a peel or some other procedure to enhance the quality of the skin, that will depend on the patient avoiding sunlight, avoiding smoking, and in general, having a healthy lifestyle. There are some procedures that we do, and of course, neck recontouring is one that I expect it to last way beyond 10 years. A brow lift should last much, much longer than that. Uh, upper eyelid surgery, again, will last much longer than a facelift as will a lower eyelid lift. A modern facelift today entails more than just the facelift itself. I've already mentioned the ancillary procedures that we perform, such as skin resurfacing with a peel or a laser that enhance the result. But more commonly, it's the addition of volume, usually in the form of the patient's own fat. Once it has taken, it should be permanent, but unfortunately, not all the fat that we graft will remain uh, and take, but whatever remains will be permanent. So in summary, I expect the result of the facelift to last for eight to 10 years, and it depends on how well the patient takes care of her skin how well the patient adjusts their lifestyle. In other words, avoid smoking, avoid sun exposure, and then finally, the type of procedure that is performed, and of course, the person who performed that procedure. All of those go into the answer to the question, Dr. Nahai, how long should my facelift last?